Hi, this is Ellen Angelotti of the Pointer Institute, and I want to show you how to add a blog post to Pointer Groups today. How we do this is we're at the groups.pointer.org homepage, and this is where you can get to all of our public journalism groups. You can see those right here. And so we are going to go to one of those groups, and the first thing we want to do is make sure we're a member of this group. So we want to join the group. You see it right here on the navigation. I click on join the group, and I get a message that says, are you sure you want to join this group? Click OK. And now you'll see that that navigation says leave group. We don't want to leave the group. But we want to add a new blog post. So you'll see here under the title of the blog, in this case it's leadership and management, we want to add a new post. So I click on add a new post. And I can choose whatever title I want. So maybe I have a leadership and management best practice. And it automatically says who's posting it. If you want to you know, say, if you want to just say Ellen posted it, you can do that. But otherwise, you should just leave a toggle to your name. It automatically does that. You can attach a PDF or any movie, uh, photo, Word document. You can attach a, a, that file here. So we'll just choose a photo. And then you can also embed a YouTube video. So if you have a YouTube video, like I have right here, I can copy this code, this embed code, and then I can just paste it right here, and this is going to show up in my blog post. I can also tag this post, so I'm going to tag it test, and then also best practices, and you, you want to make sure to have a comma between each of the tags. You'll see if somebody's tagged a post with the same word, it'll show up. So that way you will be aggregating all of the blog posts with that same tag in one place. You can also see what other people have been tagging in this community. Right now there's no recommendations, but once other people start tagging blog entries, they show up there. You can also choose whether or not to allow comments. By default we say, yeah, go ahead and allow comments. So now you get to the body of the message, and this is where you can include links, text, uh, anything that you uh, want to include. This is called a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get, and you can just type anything. So we'll say, um, I saw a great leadership best practice in my newsroom. Let me tell you about it. And then you can go on and include whatever you want. Say you have a link. So say I want to link this to a site. I can highlight that text, click on insert, click on this little link right here, and I can put in my URL. So I can click on http www.pointer.org or whatever your URL is. Click insert and, and OK. Apply and OK. And you'll see that this will take me to the pointer.org website. I can also, if I want to make something bold, I can go back home here and change the formatting. I can make it italics, underline it. Any formatting that you can do in a typical word processing uh, software, you can do here. So when I'm finished, I click Submit. And that will, then, then it'll take me back to my group page. And you'll be able to see the post that we just did. So you can see the YouTube video that we added. We were able to embed the YouTube video. That shows up above the body of my post. You can see the body of my post right here. And then you can also see the photo that we uploaded and the tags. And then when people want to comment on it, they'll be able to click on comments and post a comment right here. So we'll just post that our comment. Again, you have to be a member of the group to post a comment. Click Submit. And you'll be able to see the, pom the comment that I posted right here. Well, I hope this helps you when you're posting a blog entry to Pointer Groups. 
be sure to post any links to great work that you see, questions that you have for other journalists, or any ideas that you'd like to share. And you can do that by going to groups.pointer.org. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at pointergroups at pointer.org.